Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Breeders Corner. Today I'm going to be showing you how to um, pretty much mask and paint an aquarium to get ready for um, for it to be a larval, larval rearing tank. Wow, got a little bit of tongue twister right there. Um, yeah, so the reason I'm doing this is I want to paint the tank black so it's a lot easier for me to clean um, than taking off the masking tape and sorry the the aquarium backgrounds and stuff like that every time I want to clean it between my hatches and stuff like that uh, also it makes sure it makes makes it that there is no like light coming through at all from like small gaps or cracks between um, the sides and everything like that so I'm gonna be masking off the tank um, I've already <clears throat> did the back right here uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the the sides right now but um, the reason I'm masking it off is because I don't want any tape to, I mean, sorry, any paint to get into the tank because it might be toxic for the fish. So I'm going to mask it off really quick right now and then I'm going to show you how to, how I paint it. It's pretty much black spray paint. Alrighty. So I'm going to get the piece of cardboard here. Just want to put some tape on it, pretty much some masking tape. Stick it to the masking tape that's already on because it's a lot easier for it to stick to masking tape that's already there, of course, because it gives it a nice surface for it to stick. And this way, as I told you, I ensure that no paint's gonna get into the tank while I'm spray painting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the sides as well and I'm gonna try to cover as much of the plastic as I can because um, I don't want any tape I mean I don't want any paint on that either just like this and I'm gonna do the other side course. I have it right here on the handy dandy seat that I can rotate so I can show you guys easier. And we are about done masking it. from the top. Go ahead and do it for all sides just like that. Also from the bottom right here I'm gonna go ahead and mask that as well. So I'll be back after I'm done and then we can go spray paint. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright one thing before I start spray painting this is I uh, wanted to make sure that you guys um, know that we have to clean out the surface really well the glass surface so the reason I do that is for the paint to stick better so it doesn't have any dust or anything like that and the way I do it is just I grab a paper towel and I put some RODI water on it because I know that won't streak and then just wipe it off and then dry it off with a dry piece of paper cloth here and I do this to all sides so all paintable sides so that's what I'm gonna do now and I'll be back in a bit when I start spray painting this alright so I'm outside right now and the way you wanna do this is you wanna set up some type of cardboard or something like that I'm gonna do this on the grass because on the driveways we have the cars and stuff like that don't wanna get any paint spray paint on the cars so I'm gonna spray paint this here on the grass and 
before you do that, just make sure you set it up on something where you can't get the spray paint on and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna <clears throat> show you how to do this. You wanna apply really small, even coats, and you wanna do it over a period of like three or four coats because that's the best way. So you shake up your can really well before you start. And I'm only going to show you one um, of the sides because it, it would probably take too long for all the sides. But once you get how to do one side, you, you can apply it towards the other three sides that you're going to do. So, okay, here we go. You want to apply really short, even strokes. Do it really light. And don't worry about getting it on the other sides because you are going to paint those anyways. And it's just like that. It's really, really easy. Nothing to it. Just keep going back and forth on the areas you missed that way you have even coverage and you make sure that you get everything nice and well and that's it for the first coat so that was pretty easy. I'm gonna let it dry now and I'll be back to do the second coat and show you how, to, how it's done and how it will look after. All right, now that the first coat of paint is dry and everything, um, just wanted to make sure that you guys um, know what kind of paint I am I'm using. I'm just using a regular um, black spray paint. Uh, you really don't have to go for anything expensive or anything like that, but what I wanted to tell you is that um, you can use a flat black, which I'm using here, because I think it would look um, really nice with the glass in front of it. Um, from the inside, it would look like a glossy look when, when it's all done and stuff like that because of the glass. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the second coat, and that should be doing it. Um, the spray paint is pretty... Um, good one it covered it up pretty pretty nice and well with just one coat I just want to do another one just to ensure that no light gets through and that's about it for the spray paint of the tank so I'm gonna spray this and then I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna uh, wait for everything to dry and I'll be back when the tank is all done so I can show you the end results so here we go Alright, now I know for sure that no light's going to get through and that's what I want um, because of the clownfish babies. You don't want any light coming through from any of the sides of the tanks except from the top. So I will pause this video now and I'll come back in a bit and show you the end results. Okay, I'm back and um, now I'm just going to peel off all of the masking tape or the painter's tape and then I can show you the finished product. Of course, if you have more than one of these tanks that you want to paint, you can always keep the same um, cardboard that you use because um, they use pretty much universal, the size of them. So you don't have to go ahead and cut more than one piece of cardboard out and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and peel this and then I'll show you the finished product right now.
Yeah, try not to do that. It makes it harder. I'm just trying to finish this in a hurry so I can show you guys. But yeah, if you could get the tape not to drip on you, it would be much better, of course. right now. There you go. We've got the finished product right here. Everything looks pretty painted. Just like you see. <clears throat> Man, it's pretty dark in there. Let me get you a close up. Except for a little piece in the back. I might have to just go over it. See the, the light is shining through. That's one thing that you would want to do is check here and see if uh, in the corners any light goes through. Uh, I just have a little bit of light coming through so I would maybe have to go ahead and do the edge right there. But overall I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Um, looks pretty good. looks nice and neat and I don't have to worry about doing any of the <clears throat> um, keep changing all of the aquarium backgrounds every time I want to reuse this tank because I do wash them between so this will make it a lot easier for me to do stuff um, in the future I hope you guys like this um, if you guys find these DIY projects useful please let me know in the comments below and um, please subscribe if you haven't um, I keep coming up with new ideas for doing stuff like that also if you um, can favorite any of my videos it helps spread the word about my channel and stuff like that and I will see you guys in the next episode hope you guys enjoyed this take it easy